This is our intro with Megan. And today, we are gonna do a little thrift challenge which is gonna involve finding an ugly item at the thrift store and then we each have to style it in a different vignette. This one. Our <gasps> Stop. <laughs> this was not supposed to be a group activity. Sometimes you just don't know what you're doing until you do it. Oh. Hello and welcome back to the Sorry Girls. I'm Kelsey, this is Becky. And I'm Megan. And who are you? I am auditioning for the fourth Sorry Girl. <laughs> I am a fellow DIY builder, design lover, thrift enthusiast, and I'm excited to be here with you guys. Kate's All our favorite things. Yes, and today, we are gonna do a little thrift challenge. We love a good old thrift challenge, which is gonna involve finding an ugly item at the thrift store, and then we each have to style it in a different vignette. Yes, and we have the added benefit of being in Megan's beautiful house right now. So we're gonna use spaces around that to design our item. But the best part is you guys get to vote and tell us who did it best at the end. Yeah. Um, this bowl will decide our fate, as in which area of the space we have to style said ugly item, which we will find shortly. Okay. So, who wants to start? Okay, I'll go for it. <laughs> I'm just gonna mix them up. Okay, this one. Did you see it? Yeah. I did. Okay. <laughs> There's one hard one. Oh my god. <laughs> There's one hard one. And I was the one that's like, it's not going to be that bad. I wasn't going to get it. That's what you get. Yeah. Karma, baby. Okay, I'm going to be styling our item on the bed. To be fair, we don't know what the item is yet, so. Okay. okay. Should we do ours at the same time? Two. We'll know. Should we just hold hands? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? Yes. You read yours. I got a shelf. Oh, Which means I got one. coffee table. Those are both really good. Those, but like that one's gonna be the easiest. But like that feels, I feel like there's more pressure. Like, yeah, you're right. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Especially if it's like a rooster. <laughs> I don't know why earlier we were like, yeah, we'll get like an ugly rooster. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe that's big in Canada. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Well, that being that, I think we should go to the thrift store. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a good sale today? Tag, half off. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's just pick our ugly item quickly. Never like looked for something that's ugly. <laughs> oh my god, the rooster! Our rooster! <gasps> no, there's more! There's one up there too. Guys, don't do this to us. <laughs> don't do it to ourselves. Okay, it was oh a my gosh! Joke, but... Wait a second, I think this might be a trend. No roosters. They're... Wait, this is <gasps> Stop! <laughs> Like the fact that we called that. Especially if it's like a rooster. Why is this happening? Another rooster? I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe something in this realm. Alright, another rooster. <laughs> this is knocked over. Oh no. This is tough. What do you, that's supposed to like hang off a wall or something? Or in your case, on the bed. Oh great. <laughs> Wait, why do I love him? Because <laughs> he's cute and tiny. I think you should get this just for you. Just a little purse charm. <laughs> he's really cute. I like him. That makes me feel less lonely instantly. <laughs> <laughs> is this wicker pear ugly or vibey? Wow, I kind of love that. See, I'm thing, seeing things that like you could call ugly, but I'm like, I can make it work. But 100%. that's like not the point. <laughs> yeah, the point is this. This is the point. <laughs> that If you're wondering what the point was, it's that. I think you guys understand why we're not gonna choose something like this. <laughs> but just like trust the process. <laughs> Choices, okay, have been made. After much, sh should I say it? Yes, you should. After much calculation, is it a cock or is it yes. cock? Yes, is it a cock? Like a <laughs> We have decided to not go with rooster, but to go with fake fruit. It's <laughs> so ugly. Let the games begin. <laughs> oh, it's like a turkey leg. Oh my oh, god. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Listen, creative interpretation is up to you. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the bed, and my immediate thought kind of is like, we got the food, like bed and breakfast vibe maybe, so maybe a tray on the bed with some like plates and like a little coffee mug or something. But really, I'm just at the hands of whatever's actually cute here, so I think I'm gonna just start by pulling whatever looks reasonable and go from there. 
found the trays. This is where I need to be. Oh, of course there is. Of course there is. The coffee table at Megan's, I think, does fit the vibe. It's Maybe I can lean a little bit more like Italian or French countryside. Is that how we're feeling? Yeah. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what direction I'm going to go in. I'm just going to survey the land and see what looks the best for a shelf. I'm gonna collect some wood moments because that really neutralizes the palette. Ooh, so fruit. Maybe I do a, maybe a cutting board because that makes sense with fruit. Maybe it's like a kitchen shelf. Sometimes you just don't know what you're doing until you do it. Okay, I just started gravitating towards things that were like dark and like had a stone kind of texture to them. Well, not even, like dark metals. It's like this, this, a little bowl. I don't know. I like the color palette. I don't know if it's what I was hoping for. We'll see. I do love a good chessboard as a styling moment. More fake fruit. I feel like I need it to complete the set. So on this episode of Make It Make Sense, I have all of my kitchen adjacent things. I'm gonna go find potentially like a recipe book or some sort of book so that I can stack underneath this, making it look like there's a reason to have this fruit in my house. All right, I have way too many options. <laughs> Kind of goes nice together. I don't know if this really fits my theme. Actually, I could use this as a vase. I was thinking that that would be nice for my spread. Okay, so I have a cart full of stuff here, and I think there's two different directions I can go in. One is like, I think like 80s kind of cheese. That's a vibe. But I think the aesthetic I'm actually gonna go for is like cottage. Maybe I'm not really making a style so much now as like just decorating a space as if it was somebody old, old cottage, but I also feel like that's a vibe, is like a cottage. Like, like this. This book caught my eye because I read Underground Railroad in like middle school, which I thought was such an important book and I learned so much. And this one's called Freedom Train. I think similar story of Harriet Tubman, but I wonder how this is different. Oh my gosh, there's some, there's like a, a thing in here. I probably shouldn't have, what? Jersey Oh, we should do slow motion. <laughs> Wait, let's put a slow motion. I made us go to Vaughn's. <laughs> this is three person job. <laughs> to get one container. <laughs> I love it. Good work, guys. Okay, we're back at Megan's now, and we're gonna start working on our styling vignettes. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. I think there's like one DIY project I want to do. I think Megan's planning to paint something as well. This what are you doing? This is my DIY project. <laughs> Guys, I'm an idiot. I did the hardest. I did not, like I just have not built a puzzle in a very long time. And I was like, oh, I'll just like build it and it's gonna be so cute. Like what? And like you only need to build like a little area, but how do you know what pieces are from this Yeah, area? it's just as hard. You basically need to build the whole thing. Anyways, I'm starting this, so. <laughs> um, oh, I can get your thoughts on this actually. Oh. Is this allowed? I don't know. Is this you fractionizing? Can, you can uh, steer me astray, I suppose. Okay, I'll get everyone's thoughts on this. <laughs> so I picked up this chessboard, which I thought was gonna be real wood. It's not, big sad. So my vibe is kind of like old metals, like some darker colors. So I think I wanna paint some of the squares black. Do I do paint the brown so it's like black and cream? Or do I paint the cream so it's brown and black and like the whole thing is darker and moodier? But also- What surface is it going on? The pieces are- and white. Yeah, but that also doesn't match fully. I know. So what the f is this? So what so, the f Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Also, I've been loving black and brown. I, I feel like brown and black would be so mature, and I do like the black outline. Uh -huh. The brown is really pretty. Oh, and it, it, this was not supposed to be a group activity. So did we just help her? I don't know. Yeah. I love how I was like, did it? You hurt me. My face was f that, and you were like, yeah, we helped her. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get to painting. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so I got this stainless steel. Is it stainless steel or just metal? Whatever it is, it's silver. I got this silver colander and I loved the color of this before I put oil on it, whoops. So in order to bring this down into my color palette, which we're gonna celebrate the colors of the fruit and then kind of tone it down with woods, neutrals, and beiges because I am Megan Batoon. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna spray with this. I had this in the garage to be in this color palette and we're gonna be happy with it with whatever happens. Honestly, that gave it the biggest difference. That is cute. We love to see it. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, oh my goodness. Be in my set, please. <laughs> okay, okay, well, we know you like cottage cork. So I was going for kind of like old English cottage, I guess, was the vibe. Although when I found this, this definitely leans more like picnic, but I needed something. Or else I was afraid that everything on the bed would just feel too like random, you know? Okay, the fruit, those will come last. Okay. Got the little, what is this, a colander? <laughs> Looks like a berry bowl, I think. Oh yeah. Okay, cute, so cute. The little croissant, Danish, that will go here. So my kind of plan was that I can combine the faux fruit with the real fruit and together it will make this look more convincing it's my favorite hack with like dried flowers putting dried flowers with real greenery it just makes everything look better that's what i'm hoping will happen here it's so cute <laughs> okay where does my pear want to live i don't know i don't even know if i need my chess board i should bring it though because i made it but this is so cute Okay, friends, I am very into this English cottage breakfast. I guess it's a different type of cottage. We've been doing a lot of cottages, but I really like this. It feels like an ideal way to wake up and spend breakfast with a little bit of chess as the morning activity. I'm into it. I think it's cute. Okay, I'm here at the coffee table. I really love this coffee table, and I think it's going to be the perfect setting for my cool kitschy cottage. That is my aesthetic, okay? I have partial, a partial portion of my puzzle. Ew. <laughs> it's, it's too much. So my thought is we do a little book 
layered moment in this corner. Obviously you always check underneath the sleeves because this color is just so beautiful. I think I wanna keep my fruit over here in like this flat fruit basket. <laughs> is that a thing? This I think is a bottle opener, but a very weird one. It's vintage. We don't need this sticker. Okay, bring it upside down. I just feel like it goes with it. Very wine and cheese. This can go on my book stack. If I was a book stack, which way would I wanna go? And then my puzzle, I feel like I want to move my half puzzle here. And then this bowl is gonna house the rest of my pieces. Okay, here we are. Do we know what we're doing? No. Are we gonna figure it out? Yes! Uh, okay, I'm in front of a white wall. I feel like the colors are gonna speak for themselves. I feel like I should start with these, but I am also nervous. So I'm just gonna put them to the side and then we're gonna figure our lives out as we go. This? Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. I feel like we need to celebrate the this is like new hot. I'll put them there for now, but just don't get married to anything. Okay, so look for some height and interest. I honestly don't know what the aesthetic is. I feel like it's like Sur La Table, like catalog. I don't know. I see that. Yeah, right? Just like non offensive. Do you ever get nervous? Like your worth is tied to what you style. Okay, so we've taken all of our Just photos. instantly talking? I'm sorry. I'm, so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, eh. Okay, we're done. We've all posted our vignettes. The sun is the setting. And it is time to ask you guys, hopefully like, whatever, a couple weeks ago you. Yeah, if you're seeing this, it's too late to vote. But I'm posting the pictures right now on our Instagram. And you guys get to vote who styled the pear and grapes best. <laughs> is anyone else sweating? <laughs> because I I need to change my shirt. It's Stressy. We'll leave this overnight. We will see you back here tomorrow morning. Reveal the answers. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay, bye. The buns are perfect. As long as they're in the frame, you know? Oh, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Is this too much headroom? <laughs> we just wanted to make sure Kelsey's buns were in the frame. Okay, it's the next day and we have waited. <laughs> have not peeked at Instagram to figure out the results. And just to remind everybody, I'm option A, I think. You're option B. Yes. Becky's option C. Yes. I can't believe he knows the answer and we don't! <laughs> do you know the answer? I do know the answer. Yeah? I do know. The winner won by a wide margin. So oh! oh. Um, I don't know, what do you what do you Double? Want? It's double. What do you, uh, what? Okay, yeah, who, who came in third? With 26%, Megan came in third. <gasps> I'm shook it! No! I'm shook it. I didn't, I didn't expect that. Coming in second place with 28%. Oh, that was close. That's close. 28. Second is third. That's me. You. you. That means I won. Why, with what? 46%. Wow. Yeah. Wow. If you guys just teamed up, you would have yeah. beat me. <laughs> wow. Go off. I don't know what we do with this information, but.
Um, <laughs> you guys are the ones that have to deal with the pear and the grapes now. I'm off the hook. <laughs> That's the punishment is I keep the pear, you keep the grapes? Sounds good, sounds good. Cool. I'll take my consolation prize <laughs> of bad fruit. Okay, well that was a really fun challenge. If you guys have not yet subscribed to our channel or are new here, please feel free to do that. And we actually are gonna help you out with the project. Yes, thank God. <laughs> thank God. I've literally like renovated almost an entire house in the desert and I'm like, I can't do this by myself We're anymore. gonna help you with that bench. So I'm let's so woo! excited. Let's do that. Make sure you guys head on over to Megan's channel to watch that video. We don't even know what we're about to get ourselves into. Oh boy. And that's the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed watching us attempt to style wacky things from the thrift store this time, then let me put you on to this video to watch next. It's another attempt at making ugly things from the thrift store work, but with a fashion twist. This is ugly. Oh, what are you? Wait, you look so hot. This is dumb. <laughs> this is so